very different to running a conventional restaurant where you can put what you want on and 48 hours it's in your kitchen. This you have to look at so many different parameters, fundamentally space, um, the, the, the crew that they've got, uh, the kitchen equipment that they've got, you know, you are on a moving train, it's doing over 100 mile an hour and there's two ovens and a stove, um, so that's your parameters and then you work from there. A lot of the stuff that we do uh, is unique to, to the train uh, in terms of their volume, um, which is brilliant because you can work with the local suppliers in terms of the jams and the chutneys and that kind of stuff. Well, I remember taking the train actually from this platform, age 17 years old. I went to college at Scarborough and my granddad used to work in the ticket office here. Um, and my first ever service in London, my first ever job was in London and I took the train. Um, I remember it uh, on this platform right here when I was 17 years old. I disappeared off while my mum was in tears. My sister just wanted to go back to the car um, and my dad gave me 50 quid in my pocket. I'm just about to start recording the new Saturday show uh, that'll air in September um, and you know I'm quite busy I've just got a new restaurant I've just opened so I'm gonna be quite involved with that next week I've got five days there um, so yeah it's usually usually pretty busy this time of year with the help of James our menus have been transformed and you know we're using local produce as somebody said earlier today it's down-to-earth food it's not pretentious it's nice, comfortable eating, and it's using food from Yorkshire and other suppliers around our route. Well, we have a day just before the menu launches where we get to taste every dish just to make sure it's right. And it's a day when you're eating, you know, 18, 19 dishes in an afternoon. Um, so you end up very full, uh, but it's always good to get a preview of the dishes before they launch.